I must say, yesterday's little soiree up to the Otley Arms in Tree Forest for the barbecue beer festival. Really good. Good company as well. And the winner there was Equinox by Grey Trees. Over there is finest. Anyway, moving on. It's Saturday the 29th of October 2016. It's 10 to 7 in the morning. And it was light drizzle. It's now slightly heavier drizzle. Which wasn't forecast. Philly and Cardiff and some uh, switching oh eight oh two sun up really only just and we start with carpets for Mr. Manning and for the color balance oh Anyway, still dark outside despite the fat sun up. This is scary night by Glamorgan and Brewing, which is really tight. 4.3% alcohol by volume. Dark. Halloween. Mm. Ooh, a little thin, but quite powerful in the uh, sort of malty. Nice gentle bitter finish. I quite like that. Low. How much do I like it? Hmm. Slightly different, slightly burnt notes. B plus and a bit. And the Daily Tech News Show as well. Thank you. More carpet for Mr. Manning. This is slow porter, S L O E, uh, he slows. <laughs> so, um, Adnams, 5% alcohol by volume. And it's still drizzling. Great. Hmm, smells nice. Ooh, quite sharp. Hmm, I like that. I don't know if I could drink it all day, but it's nice. Not too much body. A mm, little bit acidic, a little bit sweet, a little bit complex, a little bit what the hell am I talking about? B plus in a bit anyway. Thank you. Heading into Cardiff. I still think the line between Central and Queen Street is closed. Because all the trains say they're going to Cardiff Bay. Oh no. Nice drizzling, which wasn't forecast. Great stuff. I'm in Cardiff, the rain has stopped, and I need chips. And where else would I go apart from Dorothy's? Can be in tap open. And I believe in the fridge, some rod and background crew. I'm going to go for this. So. Anyway, this is a freebie, so make of this what you will. However, this is Rod and Background Crew from Antwerp, matured in oak fats. A wonderful aroma, rather dark, not particularly carbonated. However, and actually, oh, Mr. Manny, look at that, real wood, real flags. Oh. I got told off in Mulder Lambit for ordering this, because it was a bit mainstream. It is wonderful though. It's acidic, uh, you can taste the oaky taste to it. It's full of flavour, it has a wonderful aroma. Oh. And an acidic finish. I'm thinking B plus plus and bit. <laughs> 3.75 on the untapped scale. This is the Cambrian tap. I am drinking some sort of wonderful from Antwerp, wardenback.be I love it Hello, the three cells seems to be down outside 
So I'm only getting 3G and not 4G. It's probably the weather. And shouldn't start the sentence with and. Number two, Gypsy Hill Brewing Company, which is new for me, South Port, Amber Ale, 4.2% alcohol by volume. Yes, I can read the label. Nice label. I'm thinking they come from London. Anyway. Smells really nice and hoppy. Mm. Oh, sharp, hoppy. A little thin, but that could be because it's come out of the fridge. I'm thinking that's going to get better easily. I'm going to give it a B. Oh, and it's got a lovely finish. And on the seventh day, someone said, let there be ale. And there was. Rhubarb and custard. Hop jacker. Branded glass. 6% alcohol by volume. Rhubarb in there. And vanilla. Another white stout, I think they said. Anyway, I don't know, but there are a plethora of fine tastes in here. Mmm, copper. It is rhubarb and custard, which, if you're old like myself, you will know from something else. If only we had the theme music. I'm going to give that a B. That's off to the gravity station. And this is from me. This is Jaramal Sour by Cholton. 5.6% alcohol by volume. I've already tasted it and it's, it smells wonderful. Oh, a sharp, acidic, not quite as sour as you would have thought, but wonderful. And fruity, fruity finish, which goes on a while. I could stay here all day drinking this. A minus, four out of five on untapped easily. From here. From the West Country, and they are excellent. The wild beer co. Although that's a very drinkable 4.1%. I like the can. Oh, it smells of fruit and freshness, and oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's good. Ooh, oranges. and orangey type fruits. I don't know what I'm talking about, but hey ho! Um, deep plus in a bit. It's good, it's not the best, but it's lovely. Thank you. The issue with Halloween is you have to drink pumpkin ales. And this is a spiced pumpkin ale from Beavertown. Stingy Jack, 7.2% 7, 7 alcohol by volume. Oh my. And it smells spicy. And it tastes strong and spicy and lots of things. B plus in a bit. That's me done for the night. 